Now, I'm going to let you guys know about a little known and very insane case of someone kidnapping Miles Zambada's niece and went in a path in it. Now, there was actually a video made by the people who did this. Um, they forced her to say some things on the video. Point being, it was a cell of the Ariana Felix who had done the kidnapping and, you know, had her. Now, in the video, they were questioning her in specific on the activities of Shackle. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I think he might have been operating more the time in Tijuana than they were specifically interested in him, apparently. Now, they also accused having her because Mao was responsible for ordering, you know, the, the Chino Anthrax did on the Ariana Felix, um, the famous video, the one I have up on my site. Um, now, this kidnapping was actually planned by Arturo Villarreal and Algon, Salvador Quintero Morillo, Arcias, and Urio Quintero Morillo, El Java. Um, all three of them planned and participated in it. And you can hear two of them, their voices that uh, I'm speaking on, that who've been identified using software and stuff, voice identification software. Now, in the actual video, she says that Mayo hasn't given into whatever they're asking for, their demands. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but she says that they have all the information of our family and of Shapo's family members. Now, these women were actually traveling together when they were on the way to the airport in Tijuana. Um, they were actually held for 20 days and they ended up being rescued by elements of the army after they received an anonymous tip, obviously by Mayo, um, to go rescue his family members. And after a shootout with some of the sicarios that had the women detained, they were rescued. Now, a month later, Salvador Quintero actually, who is a Java's brother, the one who participated in this kidnapping, his brother was killed, and a, not, a year after that, Asias, who is uh, participating in that, was speaking on that he received $1,500 for the kidnapping of each one of the women. So, obviously it wasn't worth it. Um, it ended up costing him in the end of the day. And in the end of the day, you know, Yava ended up being wanted by Cartel Jalisco. And after trying to hide lots of times, he ended up being found in Jalisco itself and was actually murdered in the municipality of Tlacapaque. Hard to pronounce one, Tlacapaque. Now, that was uh, said to say. It was vengeance of Mayo and not Mancho, even though he was looked for by both groups. Um, the actual war between the Ariana Phoenix and Mayo was continued on for a very long time. This is just, uh, you know, another, how would you say, drop in the ocean. If you want to look how all the bad blood, you could look back uh, at the killing of Guero Pablo's family. There's lots of things. The murder of Miles Zambato's uh, in-laws at the hotel. Um, there's lots of things. And there's also lots of attempts uh, with car bombs and things like that as well. Now, actually when the actual birthday of one of, uh, I'm not going to say exactly who I was considering, but I was going to say the person's name, I better not. But she, she was, she's about to be nine, and they put a car bomb outside and killed the whole family, uh, even the mother. And that's the type of things that were going on, you know. Um, completely normal, and the Ariana Felix were known for going after family members. And that's why, specifically, they targeted, when they targeted Guero Palma, the person they sent, this guy that I sent, his specialty was seducing women. So, and that's exactly what he did, right? He seduced the Guero Palma's wife, got her away, and then, well, we all know what happened. I'm not even getting into that. But, I thought I'd tell you about this kidnapping that went down, how it ended up for the people, how it happened, 
and the specific suit. Because I told you about the time they kidnapped Miles' nephew uh, here in Kulekan. That was kind of more of a first person view. This isn't, but this is definitely an interesting story. Lots of details, so I definitely appreciate it. If you take the time out of your day to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, leave a comment down below. Which is the letter A, number one. I appreciate it. It all helps out at the end of the day. It doesn't cost you anything, just a couple seconds of your time. As well, let me know what you think. Uh, do they get their, these people get their deserve, do you think? Or do you think they should have uh, had a slower end? You know, I'm surprised, but uh, karma catches up with everybody eventually. So, that's the way this world is. If you play that game, you get prison, death, or bad health. I hope everyone remembers that. And I hope each and every one of you have a superb day, morning, evening, or night, whatever it is, wherever you are in the world. Adios, amigos. Hasta la próxima. Sale, vale.